guys, I'm back with a brand new One Punch Man. With a brand new One Punch Man. <laughs> with a brand new One Punch Man video, guys. So, what we have today is, um, well, I didn't have too much of a plan for today's video. I wanted to more just play over it and see what we're just going to be able to find. So, oh, that's a good find there. So I've been trying to push through the story mode for quite a while now because it, it is getting a little bit difficult the story mode now. Um, so I want to do a little bit of that with you and then level up some of my characters. So first time's free. I always use a 50 like that. Great. Then that does my objectives as well. Right. So what? Um, make sure you always go to here guys as well and get your free daily one so you get two free shards a day. They've, I wanted to go, actually, this is what I wanted to go over with you guys. I wanted to get your opinion on what you think of this um, Master Pass. Because, obviously, guys, I've been looking at this. I, I saw this, and I'm really enjoying this game, so I was quite tempted by it. And, obviously, I clicked to see how much it was, and it was £25. Which is absolute madness. £25 for a battle. I mean, come on, the Fortnite Battle Pass is a tenner. Like, people need to queue stuff up here and think what's more worth it because <sighs> that's mental isn't it to me that's just absolutely ridiculous so i just wanted to get you guys as an opinion on this video and i wanted to go through it so obviously guys there's a free one which is fantastic because you are just going to get a load of free blues for going through but i know i don't really know how to get them open daily objective to us oh so you just get them for getting um the XP for claiming the chest. So there isn't really any like fun missions or anything cool or special to get this. And that's kind of what annoys me a little bit. Like if you look at the Sorcerer's Arena one, at least you get set a special amount of missions to be able to achieve this. Or you know, something along those lines that's quite cool, quite unique. But in this one you don't. It's just complete daily missions. Get some charts. So okay, you are getting 100 diamonds each time and when you buy it you get 600, but if you don't complete it, it's not worthwhile. And to be honest with you, look, you start, to, you only get 10, like, it is, you should be getting a character every single time, because you need so many characters to level things up on this game anyway, that to me this seems like a bit of a, a bit of a mick take really, um, they need to, they need to lack up a little bit. On some of these um, characters here because it is quite it's quite bad to be honest with you I just wanted to cover that in this video guys because it's something new in the game and obviously uh, this is quite a good deal so I'd say to you this is better to buy than the battle pass um, if you were going to spend that much money so as soon as you clear these stages guys look how much you get so that's 10 times summon 10 times summon 10 times summon 10 times summon 20 summon 20 summon 20 summon 20 summon Look, so what you get in this one is fantastic for playing the game. It's miles better than doing the one that's in the, um, well, the initial claim. So I, I, I got them a monthly card here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. $5 a month. You get a load of diamonds just to start me off a little bit. Um, don't really care about any of that. These aren't awful if you needed a quick boost. But, you know, yeah, I'm not going to do that. And then the starter packs, I got the first starter pack, which was like, which gave me a really good character. Like I said, these aren't awful either, but yeah, I, I don't think so. Oh, that one's, I was going to say that one's not, what does that do? Only eight hours. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right, so I'm going to upgrade my cars and see if we do next battle. So I was upgrading my lowest one, which 90, 90, 90, 87, 85. So if I do that right, what we've done now is I've got all my other characters to level 90 as well. So everyone's come up. Then I'm just going to sit the rest on her. There we go. Brilliant. Now I'm upgrading all of these purple bits as well.
There you go. So I, I basically just do that like once a day. On all, and I get rid of all my green stuff. So the cat I'm using at the moment... Um, I'm kind of, kind of in the position to swap um, him for someone else because Genos isn't doing exactly everything that I would have liked him to do. I need to think of another character to use over Genos. Um, you know what, I might put this guy on. Let's try him out for a battle. He's obviously level 90 because I've increased him. But let's go and attack my story mode now. Take Genos off. Um, put him on. It doesn't make too much of a difference. I, I do really, really, really like the battle wheel system in this game. Like, really, really good. You see with him, what's good is he's already nearly got his special. So he might be a better option than Genos. Genos isn't as good as he was in the first one. So what does his special do? Oh, it's random attacks. I've increased her attack. I'll get him charging now. I notice everyone's got their special sooner to start off with. Is that because of the backpack guy? I mean, he's pretty good, though, to be fair. Right, I'm going to get a tornado move out of here. Look at this. Drain. So at the moment, I've, I'm just going to put on auto now. Basically, everybody's just got loads of health, so I've actually managed to smash this one. So putting in the, the um, Emperor's Child, he's actually doing so much better. He should have a special shortly. Yep. Yeah. Rinse. Yes. Finally managed to get further in the story mode. Brilliant. Right, let's see if I can get to know this one. But do want you, when you're playing the story mode, guys, you might as well just leave on also. Because there's not too much of a need to concentrate. When you're playing Road to Strong and you've got a certain amount of chances every day, you definitely need to concentrate. Because you don't want to lose the Road to Strong. That's very, very important. So with this one, as long as you can just smash through as quickly as possible, you know, it's not too difficult. So you have already killed a lot of people here. One guy left now. They've got quite a nice amount of health. But yeah, you can kind of sit the phone down whilst, you know, doing doing a bit of work on the computer, editing a YouTube video, and just clicking through the battle. Because it's so important to get through the story mode. Because as you get through it, each time you press, you're going to get more per minute offline. And that's kind of the most important thing here. So, I might as well just um, make this a story mode uh, video, guys. But I do want to do a guild battle with you as well. To show that it's important to make sure that you do these every day to kill battles. And these are another ones which are very, very easy to leave on auto. I probably actually won't battle this out because it is quite boring to watch. But you can just leave this on, on auto. So make sure you've got all your good characters. So he's going to come off now. Him. Then you can have be able to do loads of damage and healing. It's quite important in this one. Um, and it's the same for the extreme trials. You can just sort of... Oh, we're AFK them as well. So, obviously, this is basically an idle game, guys. It's a bit like Idle Heroes. But, obviously, with One Punch Man, which is a lot better, because I love One Punch Man. So, yeah, it's just one of those things, really. Um, you can increase... So, I'm going to use him. I just need one more purple character, guys. One more purple uh, mythic character. So, I'm going to keep slowly getting me upgrades. Um, actually, I should better do another opening to round this video up, guys. Rabalente. Oh, 50 diamonds off. So tomorrow, guys, I better get in with that. What goes, mate? Oh, it's another one star. Come on. Guys, I don't think I'm ever going to get a two star mission in there. That's all I need to level up. Like I said, these are so important to do because they're so easy. I know I've said that in most videos, guys, but just make sure you do these every morning. 
I like that it doesn't matter about what level people are on. And you can still just go for it regardless. I really do hate that you can't refresh the cult missions. I just need to get a two star one in there. And it seems to be taking all flipping 400 diamonds. Oh, that's a weekly one. I'm gonna get 100 diamonds from there as well. Yes, okay. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do an opening guys to round the video up now. Here we go, come on, give me something good for once. They need to fix the drop rate in this game. This is one of the deadest games I've ever seen the drop rate on. But I'm happy there because look at all the purples I got. But nah, that, do that does not... That means I can do that, guys. But I feel like I'm going to wait until tomorrow's video, guys, and we can finally get a character up to the next tier. I'll see you all in the next one.